Hey everybody, Zach here from Reptile Creation, and today I've got my leopard gecko indica out, and I wanted to show you guys something really cool. A few years ago, I got a shed off of her that was an entire body shed. All her toes are still on it, her nose down to the tip of her tail. Every little bit of her shed came in one single piece. I did help her a little bit, and I don't necessarily suggest you try and do this every time your gecko sheds, as they do eat their shed to kind of uh, reabsorb some of the nutrients that they lose, regenerating the new layer of skin or scales. So I'm going to throw Indica back in the terrarium here. Um, this is a beautiful custom landscape that I built um, a few months back. If you guys are interested, I'm going to throw some links in the description to the uh, playlist of me building this thing and a few other things. Uh, through the process of putting it together. So other than that, I'm going to get this shed here underneath my microscope and I just wanted to, you know, show you guys what I was talking about. It's a pretty awesome little shed and I'm going to show you guys really close what those scales look like on the inside and outside and hopefully I can get Indica and her scales with that nice beautiful yellow she has on her back in the video as well with the microscope. So hey here we go. So to begin with here, we have some of the belly scales of my leopard gecko. And this shows the out, outer uh, surface of the scales. This is at 10 times magnification. And I just love the way the scales are laid out. The triangular kind of polygon shapes that join up with each other are always entertaining. So now I've switched to 60 times magnification and uh, I'm gonna try and get this as clear as possible. So you can really see the uh, how rounded all the scales are and everything, it's really cool. I uh, just figured this would be really interesting to see, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna slide this over and try and get a good view of, see this is the interior of one of the uh, kind of uh, little nubs on the leopard gecko's backs. The leopard geckos, if anybody who keeps them will be familiar with the fact that they have these little bumps on their back. Well, th the bump is a large scale with obviously, as you can see, a whole bunch of little scales that are hard to see at the uh, regular size. So remembering this is 60 times magnification, I'm going to switch this to 200 and see what we can see. So I think that's the interior of that large dome-like scale, so we're a little bit too big to see that. I'm going to move it over just ever so slightly. So there's some of the scales that are around the uh, larger round scales on their back. I'm going to flip this thing over and see what else we can see. Okay, so now we're at 10 times magnification again, and this is one of the uh, front feet of the gecko shed here. and. It's just so cool seeing how tiny all these scales are and how the, you know, they're just a complete repetition of the larger uh, scales. No matter how small they get, they seem to usually be the same size and shape. Or, uh, sorry, shape and proportion. Oh, there's some sort of you know, fiber or hair on here, but you can see right down into the, into the space in between the toes where all the all the scales get really, really small. You can also see that the ridges around the uh, scales have kind of a bit of a, a, a fold so that the scales have space to move and uh, separate from each other and kind of elastically come back uh, the way they, whenever the reptiles move around and stuff like that. It's very cool. So here you can see Indica's back, and you can see some of the scales around those larger dome-like scales. Now onto her face, We've got a cool shot of the scales around her eye there, and her licking her eyeball. I just love the way the scales on her face look. They're really, really interesting, seeing the contrast between the black and white there. Now back to another shot on her back. Pretty cool seeing the way uh, all these scales, you know, fit together. It's really awesome. Now a quick shot of her foot. You can definitely see how 
the scales change as they hit the top of her foot there. Now you can see kind of the shape of the leg there. The muscle's really cool. And then one more picture of her back. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Indica up close and personal underneath the microscope. And maybe you learned a little bit of something about their scales and the anatomy of reptiles a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this because I'd love to do more. I'd like to, you know, keep using my microscope. It's a lot of fun seeing things in a different perspective. But I thought I'd just leave you with another shot of Indica here. Very pretty high yellow hypo carrot tail. Have a good one, guys.